everybody, what's happening? It's Will Engage here with Press Start TV. We're here at E3 2015. We're here with Phil Spencer. Phil, it was a great day today. It was a great briefing today. Tell us a little bit about what you're most excited about with Xbox, some of the games that we saw today. What are some of the games that you're most looking forward to? Yeah, great question. I mean, this is such a great year to be an Xbox gamer. We have our best lineup I think we've ever had when you've got Halo and Gears and Forza and Fable, Tomb Raider, all exclusives. And then the third parties this year are, are just fantastic. We had Fallout on our stage, obviously Call of Duty, uh, uh, Star Wars Battlefront will be fantastic. The title from Rare as well. Oh, the new announced Rare and the Rare replay. I mean, but for me, you know, like the most exciting thing probably was Rare. And I, I wore the Rare t-shirt, but it's their 30th year as a studio, which I think is fantastic. And we were able to package in Rare Replay the full compilation of every, not everything, but they're kind of highlight 30 games that they've created. I saw the first six and I was like, wow, this is great. This is going to be a great compilation. They were like 30 games. I know. I mean, I know. And they think about the different platforms those games have shipped on from Spectrum. Like, you know, I think there are six different operating systems that those games have shipped on. It'd be a great opportunity for gamers. Absolutely. Okay. So, Phil. There's a ton of huge announcements today, and they have spanned across games, hardware, just everything Xbox. But I think the biggest thing that came out of the briefing was maybe the Xbox One backwards compatibility with Xbox oh, 360. Man. What was the effort going into getting that done? How has that process come across? And what's been the positive, what's been the overall response, as I think I know, since that announcement? Yeah, we started that literally a year ago. It was like in May of last year. We said, this is something we should do. Let's try. And people said it was impossible. It was going to be hard. But we said, we're going to go try. And really some smart ninja engineers went off, and they did some work. And like in December, we started actually seeing it working. And then we started talking to third parties because we have to get their rights to do the, to put their games in the program. And the third parties were really supportive. I mean, EA was on stage talking about support. Ubisoft yeah. was there. Fallout 3 on 360 comes when you purchase Fallout 4. I mean, this is like great support. And then the best part I used to talk about is getting to announce that on the floor with all the fans around. Yeah. And it just blew up, right? It just blew the place up, which was fantastic. I don't usually scream and yell at these things, but I was screaming and yelling during this part. No, it was great. It was great. So, Will? Well, one of the things that also that I really liked was the uh, controller, the controller itself. That was a pretty big announcement. I think I think a lot of fans, especially competitive multiplayer fans uh, and competitive gaming fans, will appreciate that too as well. Yeah, the Xbox Elite wireless controller is something that the accessories team, I mean, think about our teams right now. We've got the studios teams that I think are delivering great first party exclusive, the platform and live service continuing to innovate. And this was the hardware team putting their kind of best wares on, on display and a new controller for the pro, the real discerning wants all the control, uh, and plus the video that they showed. I thought the render of the video was awesome. Yeah, no, really great. I've been playing with it for about two months at home, uh, which is, has been really nice, and the team's doing a great job with it. It's gonna be fun when pro gamers get their hands on that. I'm excited. And just one last question for you. So, so Phil, in your opinion, what, what can you tell all the gamers out there? What does what, what the future of Xbox hold? You know, the, the nice thing about where we are with Xbox right now is the gamers, we're listening to the gamers. We're building a platform for them. You know, it's a great time to be a gamer on Xbox through our feedback that they give us. You know, so they're going to help us craft the future. It's going to be about games. I mean, they, they put the game guy in charge of Xbox, they're going to get a box that's about games. <laughs> And it's great to see every all the teams stepping up and delivering. But I want that feedback from the community. They go to you know, feedback.xbox.com and tell us what they want to see us do a better job of things that they I get we get a lot, ton of ideas from the fans. So it's it's all about the community, which is why it's great to have them here. Sites like yours and you know they're really bringing the community in. It's fantastic the support that you give us, uh, and uh, the the future of Xbox is in the hands of the gamers. My hands, oh. my hands. These hands. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. The future of Xbox is looking bright. Phil Spencer, thank you so much, man. Thank appreciate you. it. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thank you.